Hello and welcome, love of fooders. It's almost Valentine's Day. We're thinking about what can we make that would be wonderful and sweet and decadent that would fit perfect for this holiday. And I can't think of a better item to make than a dark chocolate cake. I'm gonna make a dark chocolate cake with a raspberry frosting. Doesn't that sound like Valentine's Day? So I've gone ahead and got a start on this recipe. Uh, what I did was I mixed all my dry ingredients together. I mixed all my wet ingredients together and then I brought them into one bowl. I prepared a very small, tall cake pan by placing parchment paper in the bottom and then I lightly buttered and then dusted with flour around the pan and then I went ahead and added in my chocolate. So we have everything in the pan. We're going to put it in the oven for about 20 minutes and then we're going to pull it out and we're going to work on the raspberry frosting together. All right, we'll be back. All right, love of fooders, I just wanted to let you know because this was a tall cake, I pulled it at 40 minutes, not 20 minutes, as I previously had talked about. I opened the door and look what happened in the middle of my cake. It fell. And, but, you know, I'm not really worried about it because we're going to be flipping it over when we go to frost it anyway. But I just wanted to show you. And remember, cooking is all about experimenting and having fun. So welcome back, love of fooders. Here we are, and we are going to be making our frosting now. We are going to go ahead and let me just grab my spatula. We are going to go ahead and add in our butter into our mixer. So we softened our butter and we're going to go ahead and pop this right into the mixer. There we go. Make sure we get it all. And then what we're going to be doing, because this frosting is a butter cream, we're going to be adding in slowly some confectionery sugar. Now the other ingredient that I added in here was this raspberry flavoring. I could have also used some chambord, which also would have been really nice, or we could have pureed some actual raspberries and made a, um, a raspberry uh, simple syrup kind of a thing out of it. But I'm going to go this route this time. It's my first time making this cake, and we'll see. If it comes out good, then we'll perfect it. So I'm just going to start with a little bit of confectionery sugar and just mixing this around manually. And I have one other secret ingredient here to use, and that is a little bit of red gel food coloring. So um, after we start mixing our frosting, we're gonna wanna get a nice pretty pink color. So we're going to, um, I guess it would be considered cheating a little bit um, by using the food coloring, but since we're not working with the natural ingredients of the um, uh, raspberry puree, I think that would be a nice way to achieve what we're looking for. And still, this is a lot better than buying a can of frosting from the store. Since we made our cake from scratch, I'd like to kind of stay in that same genre. All right, so I've got enough in there that I can start to mix. So I'm going to just lower my KitchenAid mixer, lock it in place. And I'm using the whisk, and I'm going to put this on for very slow, mix my frosting, my buttercream, and if I think that it's too dry, I can add a little bit of water into it, just a little bit to kind of keep it consistent, some warm water, you can be fine. Add in just a, just a tad warm water, and then we're going to go ahead and mix. And we're going to go ahead and fluff this up until we think that that's just the right consistency for frosting. And if it looks a little uh, too wet, we'll add in some more confectionery sugar. So I'm going to stop it for a second just to kind of show you what we've got. This is the consistency that we have right now. It's very sugary, very raspberry. I wouldn't add any more raspberry. I think what I'm going to do is add in a drop or two of food coloring and then see what we get. I add in 
Just a little bit more sugar to make it a little firmer. Not too much more. I think we pretty much got it where we want it. Lock this in place. And I'm gonna start again. Start off slow so that we don't send all the confectionery sugar flying. And then we can move it up faster. And beat up the frosting. Now let's look and see what we have here. Oh, look at the pretty pink color this is. I don't know if you can see this, but I'm gonna try and lift this up to show you. That's a really pretty pink. I don't think I want it to be any more pink than that. I think I've got the right color. Mm, the flavor is delicious too. Nice amount of raspberry. It's thin enough that we're gonna be able to spread it on our cake. Um, and then what we will do is reserve some more sugar um, and um, if we need to take a little bit of it and then add it in so that when we're piping um, our rosettes or whatever we decide to do for our decoration, we can make that part of the frosting a little stiffer so that um, it will um, certainly work nice in the piping bag. So we can try a couple of different ways and see what works the best. Um, many of you know I don't do a lot of baking, primarily because I don't like the rules. I don't like to have to stick to, you know, a recipe and be exact. But, you know, making frosting is one of those things that, to me, I had a little bit of a creative license here to do this. And so I'm excited to put this on the cake and try it out. All right, we'll be back when we get ready to frost our cake. And uh, so that'll take a little while because it's still baking in the oven. We've got about three minutes left to go. Um, and then we can check on it and let that cool off before we frost. All right, well, thanks for watching For the Love of Food.